We're going to talk now with the last group of students. I finally get to ask some real questions. So, uh, what are you working on over here? We were checking the specs of the car on our wiki space, and I am finding out parts I need to work. Well, if this is what you're doing, how do you know what the rest of the group's doing? Well, we get on our wiki space and everything's up to date and shows what everybody's working on, so we know how to keep intact with what we're working on. It's a really nice program. Nice. And do you like this learning, or would you rather be in a classroom learning? I like this learning because it gives you more responsibility of what you're working with, and it's a more hands-on type of work. Mm -hmm. And you get to discover, and teachers aren't just throwing it out there for you. So you don't like it when teachers are out on a board teaching? No, like not when they're like right there, you know, because they're pretty much giving you the information on what you need to do and how to get it done, not letting you figure out how you got to get it done. Oh, thank you. And we're back with Close Up News. I'm Freddie Starburst. And I'm Sharon Skittles. We're finally here at one of my favorite type of classrooms. It's Mr. Marver's chemistry class, and he's teaching this class by using the three R's. Let's go in and check them out. Okay, now that we've got the warm-up out of the way, today I'm going to make sure that you guys, by the time you leave, know how to do this. You must change grams through moles to the number of atoms. It's a multi-step problem. We've been working on it for a couple of days. You should have no questions, but we're going to go ahead and work on it anyhow. We're going to go grams, molecular weight, moles, number of atoms. Any questions? No. Okay, let's go ahead and get to work. Hi there, how are you doing today? Good, how are you? Just fine. So what are you guys doing in here today? Well, today we're going through and we're doing a standard lesson, and we're making sure that by the end of the day, every one of these kids, by doing these problems, are going to know how to take grams of a particular atom into the number of atoms that are actually there, and using the mole concept. We're really pounding, we're making them sure that they do lots and lots of reading and writing in here, making sure they write it all out, do the problem, solve all of it. You can, the three R's, right? There you go. And you can see how they're all working really hard. And you can see right now they're learning. Do you see, Mr. Starvers, what I was talking about? Those students were engaged in learning. They were interested in Mr. Marburger and what he was saying. And you could actually tell that they were focused. Well, while you were paying attention to what Mr. Marburger happened to be saying, I was also looking at the class, and so was a hidden camera. This is what was actually going on. So, I noticed that none of you are exactly paying attention or doing your work in there. Why is that? Because it's really boring in there. All you do is work. Nothing else. Just work. Well, at school, you have to work, don't you? No, I mean, you work like slaves. <laughs> I mean, that's all we constantly get done going, is some kind of work. Just paperwork, paperwork, paperwork? Yeah. I'd rather do that. Labs. Task, pop, and quizzes. Hands-on type stuff? Yeah. yeah. Cut a tree in half. Count the rings or something? Yeah, why not? Something, something fun. Something that's not just sitting there doing yeah, work with paper. Computer labs examine, the examine dead bodies. Yeah, that would be interesting. I'll admit yeah. that. I don't know if I could do it, but... No. Dissect stuff. We should be able to dissect stuff. I want, I want to blow some. That's things biology. Up. You're in chemistry. Right? Oh yeah. I want to blow some things up. I mean. So yeah. wait, wait. You mean to tell me you don't even know what the chemistry class is about? Oh, it's too much work. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Well, yeah. You just can't pay attention because it's so mm, boring. Constantly working. So you'd rather do just like work on projects and labs. Yeah. You'd rather collaborate on stuff and maybe make some things explode. Yeah. Could we be learning about chemistry? I don't know what maybe if it blows up. What it's going to look like? I want to blow it up. I want to set right. fire or something. Well, thank you. Thank you. Hi, I'm here interviewing some students from Mr. Marburger's class. Now, Amber, tell me, you were in the other class. What do you think about this class, comparing it to your other class? Um, it's not that interesting. I'd rather be working in another class where it's like hands-on. You get to like learn a lot more. This class is just boring, and it makes you like want to fall asleep, doodle, you know, anything you can do to keep yourself awake. And what do you feel about it? I think it's the most boring class ever. Like, I just listen to my iPod the whole time. I don't learn anything at all. I'd rather be in, like, mechanics or something. Do you guys yeah. learn more from the hands-on class? Yes, totally. All right. Welcome back to the Close-Up News Report. Today we talked about project-based learning and the merits thereof. Even though the three R's used to be important, I think that project-based learning helps students today prepare for the 21st century. Well, thank you. I told you so. I'm Freddie Starburst. <laughs> and I'm Sharon Skittles. And this was Close, Close Up, Up News. News. Thank you. <laughs> I'm Freddie Mercury. How you doing?